Hey guys, welcome. So, sorry I've been gone for a little bit, but I'm back now, so we're gonna be getting into the reading. Let's see who needs a reading. Oh, the lovers. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Eight of Cups just came out, and, and I, I knocked it with my hands, so this means something. There could be something around um, a relationship, okay? <sighs> so, who needs a reading today? Who needs a reading? Virgo, you're up. Okay, Virgo, let's get into you guys. Um, my readings are for entertainment purposes only, and I hope you guys enjoy. This is for anyone with Virgo placements in their chart, sun, moon, rising, any planetary placements. Also, specifically right now, the most important signs I feel like to look at are Jupiter and Uranus, because there's about to be a conjunction in Taurus, okay? And it's kind of like a go big or go home energy, all right? So, you know, there could be big losses, but also very big wins, depending on how you are playing your cards, how you have been playing your cards up until this point, because Mercury retrograde often, like, um, blows things into uh, in your face. <laughs> so things that you may have not been taken care of, those can come back to you, um, you know, things that you needed to deal with but haven't yet, that will also, I mean, it's essentially the same thing, but also if you have been taking care of your stuff, you will notice that something may come in for you. Okay, so this could be it, Virgo. You may have let something go here with the Eight of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune Reverse, and the Lovers, we'll find out. What's the overall energy for Virgo right now? Okay. So we have Owl, good advice from a wise person. Arrow, you are on the right path regarding an aspect of your life. You've made a good decision here. You may have decided to like sidestep something. You, like you may have felt energy coming towards you and you kind of went, mm, no. Nope. And like you kind of just like went this way, you know, and I feel like you did something right at the good, the perfect time. I also forgot I wanted to get a, um, a rune card for you guys, okay? I am going to bring the spirit box back, guys, the one where it shows me pictures. I just want a little break from it because it's very um, heavy energy, okay? It attracts a lot, you know? Okay. So, uh, Virgo. So we have Gibo or Gebo in the reverse with gifts. Both in the sense of sacrifice and generosity indicating balance. So this to me in the reverse is giving me imbalance. Okay, so something, this could be past energy. I'm also seeing someone that may or used to wear like Obey clothing, you know that skating company like Obey. Um, it had to do with Andre the Giant, someone's name could be Andre. Okay, what else? Perthro in the upright, uncertain meaning, a secret matter, a mystery, hidden things, and occult abilities. Okay, so right away, Virgo, here we go again. With the Gibo or Gebo in the reverse, with the Perthro, I'm thinking this could be negative energy being sent at you. Um, that's what I'm feeling. But I feel like you're sidestepping it somehow. You're avoiding this energy. We'll find out more, and the fact that this is a cult, someone could be sending like, I'm just getting into it, like people are crazy, they do send magic, they're just, you know, people buy spells off Etsy and stuff, you know, because they think it's gonna help them manifest because, but they're, they're using it in ways that hurt people, like they think hurting someone is somehow going to give them something in return, and that's not the way it works. And also, when you're manipulating energy and you're manipulating energy, um, let's say it's like a love spell, okay? If you are manipulating energy to get someone to love you when they don't actually love you, and I'm not saying you are, whoever you're dealing with, I'm getting this, especially with the lovers, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, okay? Because someone isn't letting go of what they're supposed to be letting go of, and I'm not, I'm not saying it's you, okay? But I'm saying someone around you, I feel like this is happening. When this happens, it may 
manipulate the energy around this person. It may pull the wool over their, their eyes like for a moment, but when it comes down to karma, when it comes down to the wheel turning and the universe balancing, it's going to balance it and it's going to balance it in a way that this person is not going to be okay with. I don't know what it could be. Like for instance, it could be unsuccessful relationships for years because of it or let's see we have Ansu's with a revealing message or insight communication signals inspiration enthusiasm so something there is communication coming in okay not us in the upright with delays restriction res resistance leading to strength innovation i'm just getting like intercepting energy here kind of getting like Also, I'm feeling like tingles on my left side, which is my masculine side. No, wait, feminine, right is masculine. So, right? Yes, I think so. And I'm starting to feel hot, which is giving away spell work for sure. Okay, let's find out. And I also feel like I need to get these out too. I know you Oracle, so if we need to pinpoint someone, we're going to find them, okay? We're going to find these people. Um, so can I get... Someone could have, could have... You either have an ancestor that's telling you to back away from something, or you have... This could be your own intuition, like you're finally like listening to it, or you are listening to it, or whatever. Okay, hold on. What's the overall energy for a love and relationship for Virgo? Yeah. We have funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. I don't feel like this is your energy though. I feel like someone is trying to funnel their frustration into your cup. Okay, especially with mountain turns sideways with major challenges to overcome. And Lily with spiritual love. And, it, and it's over the, the owl here and the arrow. As well, if this is someone that your person is dealing with, they are learning a massive lesson. Okay, um, this could be someone that maybe someone is avoiding a tower with. They're not, this person could maybe hold back from ending something because they, I'm getting they don't want to hurt this person, okay? They don't like hurting people. Especially like, if this is a masculine, they really, really, really do not like hurting women, okay? They, I don't know if this person has something that happened in their past, okay? Maybe they had some, some, some sort of super, misogynist, assholey type of father figure. Um, so they want to avoid being that at all costs, okay? Even if it like means just like stringing someone along, you know, which is kind of weird. Um, okay, so let's get into what we need to know for career and finance, please. So we have Rooster with an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross, okay? It's in the sideways, so we're going through a cycle here with this person. And V in the reverse with victory and an endeavor. Okay, so what's happening here, and I feel like this is back to the sidestepping thing that I was talking about before. I feel like there may have, I'm not saying it's a, a, um, a trap per se, but this person did plan something. I feel like this is someone at work. They did plan something and you successfully avoided it somehow. I don't know if there was like a, a get together, an event, you didn't go to or if this person had a plan to make you act a certain way Virgo and you just didn't <laughs> like at all like you totally were just like you know like whatever you know what I mean um okay and then what does Virgo not see coming please okay so we have apple with temptation will test you and torch Kind of turning spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Understanding. Oh my god, I can't talk. Okay, so it's turning 
this way kind of towards the halfway point so you are being spiritually upgraded here oh yes okay so whenever you're being spiritually upgraded you will be tempted to go back into karmic cycles no matter what it is it could be a person place thing like a, a thing something you used to do um I'll give you one for example. Okay, here's one that a lot of people do just because it's so easy to do and, but in my opinion, it's very unhealthy for people to do this. Um, let's say you're involved with someone and you are checking their social media all the time. This is an unhealthy habit, okay? Why is this unhealthy? Because what you are doing is you are focusing on the small things that don't matter. Okay, so you'll check their social media, you'll notice that they did something. Okay, and you know, this gives you a certain feeling, you know, a certain, uh, for whoever I'm picking up on, this could be like something where you feel negatively about whatever it is they do. Okay, but if that isn't what you're doing, then it could be anything else like drinking, um, working out, eating good, okay? Something like that, It's you're, you're being tested, okay? You can also be tested and tempted to It's like you're changing. You may have been someone who may have gossiped a lot or you befriended gossipers, but I feel like whoever, you know, this is that I'm feeling right now, it's like you're you're avoiding that. You're not doing that anymore. You've grown up, you know what I mean? All right. So who is this person sending energy? Let's just, you know what, actually I want to get, no, let me get confirmation. What is this, um, Gibo with Perth throat in the reverse? Okay, so we have, um, the strength card, which, um, you know, it's Leo energy. Okay, and we have seven of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, okay, you see on this card how it looks like she's forcing something in the lion's mouth? Someone is trying to make something work that just doesn't work anymore. It's like they want to avoid ending something so bad, okay? It's like... What's the Seven of Pentacles with the strength? Exactly. Exactly. Seven of Cups in the reverse something is being revealed to someone about how they're wasting their time on something so this could be someone you're dealing with virgo okay what is this seven of cups you could be seeing 777 what's the seven of cups in the reverse yeah ten of wands okay and then what came up with the ten of wands king of wands reverse Okay, this is someone with ex with serious uh, distorted masculine energy, and with the King of Wands in reverse, this person can be nasty. Okay, they can be really, really nasty. This person is very oppressive. Can we get with this? I want to. I want to pinpoint this person. Who is this King of Wands in reverse? What do they look like? What are their attributes here? What's this King of Wands? Who is this King of Wands in the reverse? Who's this King of Wands? Okay. So. This person is introverted, um, or they they have a very awkward social like behavior to them. Okay, they may act very shy, and they're hiding some sort of impulsive behavior they have. Okay. With trustworthy, it was kind of, it went sideways. So some of you,
So like I said, this could be third party or the person you're dealing with. I don't know. Just however it resonates, right? With trustworthy, I'm getting this person. You're not really sure if you can trust them. Okay. Um, there's something off about them. You know that it is, especially with this feeling of like spell work I was getting. I don't know what that's about. With pilot <clears throat> kind of turning in the reverse here. They're not able to go forward with something. This person literally could be a pilot or in the um, Air Force or they could be ex-military I'm even getting. Even like military officer energy I'm getting too, okay? This person is brunette. Okay. Anything else you want to tell us about this brunette person? I tell you, this stupid card has been coming out. I don't get that this person, this person works in retail, like at a grocery store or something, or they do like online retail. What else? They came out last week. <clears throat> this person, <clears throat> excuse me, didn't want me to say that, but this person is extremely sensitive. Okay, um, they may cry a lot. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? I'm just getting whoever this is. Um, I'm getting Nine of Pentacles in reverse energy. Like, they're very needy, okay? Um, when you don't, when someone here doesn't give them something they want, they cry, they act out, they act like a fool, asshole, okay? Or, or they start crying at you. There's something in this person that is not healed, okay? And this person is, they really need to heal something in themselves, okay? but they're relying on someone else to do it. With kinky in the reverse, I'm kind of getting whoever this person was dealing with, they may have had some sort of kinky connection, okay, but something isn't working out anymore. It's like, Someone's just not like they can't get a heart on for this person or something. I don't know. Immature in the reverse. They may be telling um, someone here that you're the immature one, Virgo. Okay. They might be like, no, no, you know. It's either that or they're being extremely serious about something that was never meant to be serious. Like if this was just a sexual connection and it was just supposed to be a sexual connection. This person is like, they're getting really, they may have like proposed something to someone. I don't know if they were like, they gave them something like a gift or if they tried to kind of, I'm getting one of those conversations where the person's like, but what are we type of thing? Who am I? You know, that, that sort of thing. So what is this, per, what is this person doing to Virgo? What's the eight of cups? They're lying about you. Yeah. They're really, 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 um, yeah. Okay. With the Ace of Swords here, this person is either lying to someone or sending you energy with five of pentacles in the reverse with eight of cups. They want a reconciliation with someone here and they're they're like saying weird, what are they saying? What are they saying? They're either, they, I feel like they're telling this person to let you go. This could also be a let, let them go or else type of thing, like a, what is this? Yeah. Okay. Because they want a ten of cups with someone. They want to harmonize with someone. They're trying to, like I said, they're trying to manipulate the energy. They're trying to manipulate. The, I just got another message for someone, okay? Someone here is trying to reconcile with you, all right? And... They need, they may know they need to let go of something or they are letting go of, go of something in order to get to this Ten of Cups energy, okay?
someone here could be like, I don't know if this is your person or you, because I'm getting like love reading type of thing, okay? Someone here, they're being like, the universe is kind of testing them if they're going to take this opportunity with this person that they don't actually like, or if they're going to move towards a more, um, like an energy that resonates with them and is on their level, okay? Whoever this was was not on their level. <clears throat> Just was not, okay? What's the Ten of Cups here? Yep. This is a very distorted masculine energy here. They're coming up as the King of Wands in the reverse and the King of Pentacles in the reverse with the Hierophant. This is someone who is religious, okay? This is someone who knows a lot about, if you, like, this person could probably quote the Bible is what I'm getting. They're also very unstable. They have a lack of money. Why is this? See, that's why I'm not trusting this Ten of Cups energy. Like, this is why, guys. Like, because something is off here. I'm just feeling this, like, energy manipulation. This person could, oh. Okay. Whoever this is that is sending this magic, I want to say, because it's like, they're not on someone else's level here. And, and if you've ever, I've been getting into dimensions and stuff. And what I'm reading from this, what I'm feeling from this is it's like, okay, the way they explain the dimensions is, you know, you have the X, you know, uh, you know, number one, which is like, I think X axis, right. Which is like, you know, a straight line or something, or it's like horizontal line or whatever. And then dimension number two is a vertical line, Y axis, right? X, Y. Um, and then the third dimension is 3D, so that's us, you know, we have, like, bodies and things, right? Um, but then you get into the fourth, <clears throat> excuse me, fourth dimension is, like, time. Except if you believe that time is an illusion and then they, some people describe the fourth dimension as a hypercube, right? Now, the fifth and sixth dimensions to me are, like, literally the same thing. <laughs> But they're probably not. In my head, that's that's what I see them as, like, the same thing. Okay. Um, someone here is, like, I don't know if you're from another dimension or you're just, like, a really high-vibing person. Whatever this, whatever energy this person is sending you, they can't get to you. So, it's, like, it's, like, the energy is coming from another dimension and it's, like, it's either your side swiping it just because you're, like, freaking Neo in the Matrix, like... I'm kind of getting someone that's, that is listening to their intuition, making moves based on their intuition, and they're just like moving in this way that like, you're just, you're receiving messages and you're acting on them, okay? It's like they're the, you know that scene in the Matrix, right? Where like he's shooting the bullets and like the bullets are coming slow and you know, it's like, you know, like that really famous one where you just like, like oh, and he's like, oh, falling backwards, right? That's what I'm getting this as. It's like, Whatever this person is sending you, it's even less than that. It's like you can't even see it. It's so minuscule. It's like it's like the tiniest violin in the world, right? So <laughs> sorry, I'm just picturing like I'm just picturing someone be like, oh, oh you're crying. Oh yeah, the tiniest freaking violin. Like chances are this person has been sending this the entire time. And also it's like they need to let it go. They need to let go and they're not letting go. So the fact that this is happening, it's giving me this energy where, let's see, what's gonna be the outcome of this spirit? The magician. I. I don't like the way that came out. What's the magician? There, you know, and also, this could just mean there's a choice here. There could be a choice here for someone you're connecting to. I'm, yeah, I'm just getting, like, you guys are, like, from two different dimensions, like, entirely. Like, you may not, not even know this person or anything, like, and if you're not, you're just, like, on a whole other level, Virgo. You're, like, up here, and this person is sending you energy from down here. So, like, their energy is just going pew, pew, and you're just, like, oh, I'm just gonna, like, avoid doing this today, and for some reason, that's counteracting it, like... It's crazy universe shit, you know? Yeah, exactly. 
Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, this person is definitely... This person could be using... Um... Trying to, I'm trying to see if there's a hint here for me. What kind of energy is this person sending? Ugh, yeah, exactly. They're sending sword energy. So, um, ten of swords. Okay, this, uh, oh, this person could be using voodoo. Okay, this person is either using voodoo or they're doing something with their words when they're talking to whoever this is. They're like, they're whining, but it's in a very, like, very manipulative way. They're not, this person may not actually say anything bad about you, okay? Um... And by the way, if you didn't know, like, you know, using words and, 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 you know, language, that is, um, spell work. Okay. Because it's spreading that energy. It's manipulating the energy, right? They're, they're saying stuff like, I can, I can hear them. I can hear them. They're saying stuff like, oh, I guess that you don't want to see me then, you know, and just being like, hmm, you know what I mean? And like. It's making, it's triggering this person's, like, like, they don't want to, you know, whoever this is, they don't want to hurt people. So when, when someone is being like, I'm hurt, or I guess you don't want to see me and you'd rather do this instead. Like, it's stuff like that. It's kind of making this person feel guilty for possibly connecting to you. So I'm definitely getting a third party situation. As well as I do believe this person is literally sending energy via like spell work, like with candles and water and like using all the elements. Like this person is probably using all of the elements. They're calling on every single element. But the thing is, I don't, I don't think, <laughs> I don't really feel like this person has a really heavy spirit team at all. And honestly, I, if they are around this person, they're like, they're probably deflecting it because any sort of spirit that's around this person is going to be like, this is not the way, my friend, this is not the way. Because once you, you know, reach that consciousness, you're not, you're no longer heavy in the ego. So if this person has a spirit team, they're probably <laughs> blocking this shit, honestly. Our ancestors, they don't want to see us codependent and sending out energy like that. They do, it's just... It's beyond this world, you know, it's just not, it's not it. Okay. It's not the way to go. So what else do we have? Is there, does Virgo need to do anything in this situation? Sorry. Like I did not finish my sentence at all. The fool. Okay. Be optimistic. Okay. It's, I don't feel, I feel like literally I'm getting Neo in the matrix energy. Like you have literally nothing to worry about, like at all. <laughs> okay. All right, Virgo, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.